thanks for stopping by it's your girl valerie again if you're new to my channel please don't forget to like share comment and subscribe i'm trying to get to a thousand uh, subs please tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe and please don't forget to turn on the notification bell for when i upload new videos in this episode i'll be reviewing love island usa season four episode four i'm sorry i'm a bit behind at times I'm working and I'm so busy I don't have time to do any reviews. Okay, so in this episode we got to meet the new guy Tyler. Tyler is a 23 year old PhD student. Um, I feel some kind of way, not because I don't like Tyler, but I'm a bit concerned because of his age. He seems more mature though than um Andy or uh, Isaiah, which is good because I think this is the problem that Courtney had with Isaiah, with Andy, because she said he, she didn't feel he was he was mature enough. She felt he was a mama's boy. So he seems mature in that sense, but I'm a bit concerned given the girls that are single. Um, anyway, um, we'll review. You know, I'll talk about the game and then we'll review the couples. They played a kissing game, so the girls got to sort of, uh, the guys got to stand in a line, and then the girls went round around in sort of individually to kiss them and they were graded as to who was the best kisser and so on and so on and for the girls Valerie won for the guys Timmy did say that he's been told he's a great kisser and he won for the guys the girls graded him very highly I think that those markings were a bit biased in the sense that most of these people have made out so they know how the other person kisses. So people are giving higher marks to people that they know or people that they're in a coupling with that they've kissed before. Um, and it was interesting that after Timmy won, some of the guys like Jesse were saying to him, you need to teach me how to kiss since the girls spoke highly of your kissing. And oh my God, the girls were like, oh, Isaiah kisses like a lizard. Oh, poor thing. I hope he doesn't watch it because <laughs> it would be, you know, it's heartbreaking. Anyway, um, so... With the girls, we do still have the two single girls, Courtney and Debbie, because their guys are recoupled with the new girls. So Courtney, on her part, has decided to pursue things with Felipe because Felipe is in a coupling with Serenity, but he told her they, they sort of agreed that they were more a friendship couple than anything else. And Serenity was happy for him to pursue whatever whoever he wanted to pursue. So I think Courtney and um, Felipe, they did agree that they are very sexually attracted to one another. And I don't know whether that sexual attraction will equate to a relationship. And so I'm a bit concerned that the flame will die out at the end, that once they've become intimate, that's going to be the end of their relationship. But I might be wrong. They might actually build a stronger connection. We'll see how that goes. Um, on her part, um, Debbie is in a three-way with Valerie and Jesse. Jesse was initially was with with Debbie, and then from there he coupled up. He coupled up with Valerie. I think Jesse immediate in, initially immediately picked up that Debbie really liked him, and once he picked up that Debbie really liked him, he then decided to pursue somebody else because the chase was over for him because he knew that whatever he did should always take him back, and so he went for Valerie and was after. I don't think he was really that into her, but he just wanted the idea of winning her. So he did have conversations with both Debbie and Valerie, and it turned out that she was telling them exactly the same thing. He was lying to both girls, telling them, you're my number one. Uh, I really like you very much. Apparently he told, because Zita was sort of playing wingman for, for Jesse and Debbie, and Deb, sorry. And so he told Zita, he would give messages to Zita to give to Deb, and then vice, he would go himself to Valerie and sort of reassure her. And um, Deb had already said that she's a bit nervous about sort of, you know, going after a guy who she knows is coupled with someone because she doesn't want to, to seem like she's trying to steal someone's guy. And it took Zita sort of telling her that sadly this is a competition you need to you know do what's in your best interest because you don't want to be sitting at home with um and and thinking to yourself why didn't i go after this guy so because of that um she decided to give it a shot and so they they had a conversation um debbie had a conversation with valerie 
And just to sort of, I think she wanted to sort of explain that, you know, no hard feelings. I, I just want you to know that I am also interested in Jesse, even though you've recoupled with Jesse. And so that's when they found out that Jesse had been to- telling them the same thing. He had told both girls, you're my number one. Uh, he had told uh, Debbie that if I have to recouple, you're my first choice. And he said exactly the same thing to Valerie. And when the girls found out, Valerie decided to confront him, which I don't think was a great idea. I think both girls should have confronted him because she took him up to the tree house and had a conversation with him there. I think she should have made Deb go up, wait for them, and then brought uh, Jesse up, and then they ambushed him and sort of told him that, you know, they won't be putting up with him playing games with them. But after they had a conversation, Jesse then decided to say, oh, no, you know, I I think I have a stronger connection with, with Deb. But how... Would he build the connection with Valerie if he was avoiding her and didn't want to sort of get to know her, which was Valerie's argument? I think the reason why he decided to go back to Deb was because he realized that Tyler was interested in in Deb and he likes the chase. He's not concerned about celebrating. He likes the chase winning and then moving on to the next chase. That's just my opinion. Because after that, um, as soon as he confirms that, yes, Deb was his number one choice, Valerie said, okay, we're done. And she moved on. So... I have a funny feeling Deb is going to take him back. I really do have a funny feeling Deb is going to take him back, which will really be sad because she has someone who's interested in her and she's going to walk away from that for someone who's most probably still going to leave her if somebody new comes in. Because I can foresee just, I said this yesterday, I can foresee just moving on to somebody else as soon as someone new comes in. Um, And then we move on to Isaiah and Sydney. Isaiah and Sydney seem to be in a better on a better footing in this episode because in the previous episode they had a falling out because uh, Sydney didn't like the way Isaiah spoke to her and she said it sort of triggered her. They've made up. They seem to be getting along very well. Um, although I don't know how Isaiah feels after the kissing game because I don't think he was ranked very really highly and he seemed very nervous when Sydney was kissing the other guys. But they did go up to the sort of loft little area, had a conversation, and were making out. I can foresee them recoupling when recoupling happens. I can't really foresee them recoupling. So we'll see how that plays out. I I don't really have much to say about them. I don't think Sydney was really interested in the new guy. I didn't see her have conversations with him. So I don't think she was really interested in him. Um, She participated in the kissing game as well. She met saliva swapping. I understand that. Um, Anyway, um, and then from there, we'll go to Zita and Timmy. Zita and Timmy... I think Zita and Timmy at the moment are the most stable couple. Although I can foresee drama, should one of them, you know, or one of them have their heads turned by somebody else. I can see a lot of drama happening, but they seem comfortable with each other. They seem content. They did rank each other highly when they play the kissing game because obviously they're always making out. So they would know who was kissing them anyway. Um, And um, I think what I like is Though they're sort of in their coupling, I can foresee them at recoupling choosing one another, but I like the fact that they are very supportive of all the other sort of islanders because um, you can tell that Zita is Tim Deb when it comes to the Jesse Triangle. She's Tim Deb and she's really trying to cheer on Deb and motivate Deb to make sure that Deb doesn't get eliminated and she secures her place in a coupling with somebody. So that was interesting to see. Um, on his part, um, uh, Timmy was having conversations with Jesse and um, Tyler on his part is the new guy. He said he liked, um, he liked, he liked um, Deb. He also liked um, Maddie and he liked uh, Serenity. He said Ser- he loved Serenity. He said she was very nice. She was very welcoming. She's very bubbly. And so... I don't know. I really don't know who she's going to pick. I really I, I really don't know who's going to pick if he had to pick. Or I really don't know what's going to happen with the girls because of what's happened with the Jess situation. Um, Mandy and Andy. Mary and Andy seem happy at the moment. I don't know if Maddie's head will turn for Tyler since Tyler's mentioned her as one of the people that he's interested in. It seems the guys are more sort of trying to keep in touch with their with their partner and sort of make sure that they're on the same page because now that Tyler's coming, everybody's worried that Tyler might go after my girl. And so, I don't know. It's going to be interesting. My 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 money is on 
so once Deb finds out that um, Jess is now single, she will go back to Jesse. I think she really likes Jesse, which means it will be a scramble for Tyler between either Serenity and Valerie or whoever else wants to pursue him. But I don't know if they, if one of the girls that's already in a couple chooses to, to pursue Tyler, whether the person they're coupled with would then be interested in Serenity. I really like Serenity. I really, really like her. I hope she stays. Anyway, here I go. I digress. Um, thanks, guys, for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Bye.